Hey kids, welcome back to our MZBC Kids Online video lesson. I hope everyone has had a great weekend. Last week, we learned about how Jesus met the woman at the well and how he told her about the living water. Today, we're going to look at a time when a man named Noah experienced a lot of water and how that water changed his life forever. <clears throat> so go ahead, grab your Bible, open up to Genesis chapter 6 and listen to this song about how we should always trust God. Letting go of every single dream I lay each one down at your feet Every moment of my wandering Never changes what you see I've tried to win this war, I confess My hands are weary Has a teacher or your parent ever told you to do something that seemed impossible? Think about how messy your room is right now. How difficult would it be if your parent asked you to go and clean it? Well today, we're going to look at a time when God asked Noah to do what seemed like an impossible task. Let's watch this video together and find out more. Adam and Eve had many children and grandchildren. One day, God looked at all the people on earth and saw that they were choosing sin. Every person's thoughts were evil and God was sad that he made people. God decided to send a flood to destroy all the creatures on the earth and to clean up the world. 
God showed favor to a man named Noah. Noah was a righteous man. He followed God. God warned Noah about the flood. He told Noah to make an ark to save himself, his family, and all kinds of animals. God told Noah exactly how to make the ark. God said that he would make an agreement or covenant with Noah and his family. Noah did everything that God commanded. When the ark was finished, God told Noah to go inside. Noah went inside with his family and the animals and God shut the door. Rain came for 40 days and 40 nights and water rose from the ground. Noah was 600 years old when this happened. Now the ark floated on top of the water. The water rose higher and higher until all the mountains were covered. Every living thing on earth died. Only Noah and those with him survived. Finally, the rain stopped and the water started to go down. Noah waited inside the ark until the ground was dry. Then God told Noah to bring all the people and animals out of the ark. So Noah did. Noah built an altar and gave an offering to the Lord. God promised Noah that he would never completely flood the earth again. God told Noah and his family to spread out over the earth and fill it with people. God placed a rainbow in the sky as a special sign of the covenant he made with Noah. Every time Noah and his family saw the rainbow, they would know God remembered the promise he made with all the living creatures on earth. God rescued Noah and his family from the flood. The story of Noah points ahead to a greater rescue. God's son, Jesus, the only perfectly righteous one, came to take the punishment for our sin. By trusting in him, we are saved from the punishment our sin deserves. How would you feel if someone told you that you had to complete a task that would take you 120 years? Imagine if God asked you to do something that extreme. What would you say? Would you say that 120 years is too long? Would you say that you can't do it alone? Sometimes we come up with a lot of excuses to say why we can't do something that God has asked us to do. But what if we said, yes, Lord, every time he asked us? Noah heard what God had asked him to do, and he said, yes, Lord. It takes a lot of trust to say yes to a big task from God. Do you know what that thing is? It's faith. We've got to have faith when God asks us to do something small or big. God will always take care of us, and we need to trust God's word. When we trust God, things may not always be easy, but we know that He will make sure we get through any storm that comes towards us. Let's pray. God, we love you so much. And we thank you for being a God who is always there for us. And God, whenever you give us a task, whether big or small, we know that you will be with us through the entire thing. God, we love you, we praise you, and we thank you for sending Jesus to us. And it's in his name that we pray, amen. I hope you enjoyed learning about how trusting God is the most important thing we can do. I hope that encourages you. Have a great week and we'll see you next time.